started as a dream team freedom we done started in the basement whipping up a record giving genesis a face so today i'm here with my little lady hi and we're doing an unboxing today for palm shell cosmetics right well listen this is just the unboxing portion i will go over shipment and all that stuff later but until then, this is the unboxing. And we'll probably end up doing swatches here too, let's be honest. Awesome. One thing I can say is they went on packaging. Yes, uh, this is so cute. Oh, no. Uh -huh. There we go. Nope. Oh, and then there's more. Oh, it's called Fruity. This one comes in watermelons. <laughs> this one's called Lash Delicious, and it's in Tutti Fruity. Isn't there one more in there? No. I thought I ordered more than no package. I don't need a package. All right, I'm gonna have to check my things. I'm pretty sure I ordered more than two lashes. All right, now time for the big guns. What I can say is, I wish they shifted in the purple side. That way you can save the pretty fruity side. I mean, I guess that's a preference, right? I like the more colorful side. Looks like it's packaged nicely. We'll see. All right, here's another pair of lashes. Oh, okay, they're in here. There's another watermelon one. This one or is I in like the shade Piña. Watermelon. Piña Colada? Okay, this is not what I ordered. Okay, I'm definitely missing two things that I ordered and paid for, so I'm gonna have to contact them again. But these lashes are in the shade Piña. And then, the star of the show, the two eyeshadow palettes that I bought. This is the Sour Blast Ooh. eyeshadow palette. And this is the Candylicious palette. I'm just gonna show you the size difference. This was their first palette to the Candylicious for, was it Candylicious? They have this whole like candy theme right now. Um, I got the Sour Blast because I like the more bright colors, but there's another one that I want. I forgot what they're called, but they came out with two or three other ones than this. And they came with a bunch of different lashes. I'm definitely missing, I'm definitely missing lashes. I'm actually missing a few things and I'm gonna have to contact them for it. But here are the three eyelashes that I did receive. This is a Latina owned brand. They are actually from Bayamón, Puerto Rico. It's got a big old mirror. The mirror is covered with this plastic. This is a lot bigger than I thought. I've been wanting to stick my fingers in that blueberry shade. For some reason, in pictures and on camera, the colors look deeper than what they are in person, but they're still really pretty. I have to play with it and use it on my eyes to determine if I love it or not, but I'm excited to do that. Now I'm gonna go into the Sour Blast, which is what I've been waiting for the most out of everything. Ooh, it smells like candy. Can you smell? Is this supposed to smell foodie? Ooh, that does smell really good. Wait, I wanna smell this one. This reminds me of the sour gummy. That's what it's supposed to. Just really? like this is supposed to look like blow pops. And then this is supposed to be some kind of other gum. Yeah, gum. Bubblicious. Other there's other lashes that I ordered that I did not receive. So I'm gonna have to email them on that. I will keep you updated. Because like I said, there's a whole other part of this video that you would love to see. But that's it. I will definitely do like a try-on review of these. And when I do that. I will um, talk about my shipping experience. I want to contact them through email or whatever, DMing them on Instagram, whatever I'm gonna have to do to get in contact with them. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do that and you will see that next. <laughs>
Hey guys, so I'm gonna start this portion of the video with no makeup on because it's just gonna be like a talk through. So in this talk through, I'm gonna be showing you live swatches, pictures, everything of my bombshell Cosmetica. But in all of that, I will be talking about my experience with the brand. Everything came in this really cool box. If you know me, I love color and candy. So this entire collection, marketing, everything sucked me right in. So they definitely did an amazing job there. So you'll see a video um, of my first impressions where I just put concealer and I set it and then used it. But I felt some of the colors were kind of dusty that way. So today I'm not gonna set my eye and I'm gonna use something different. Instead of regular concealer, I'm gonna use this MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot because I really wanna give it a fair chance. So like I said, yesterday I did my makeup with it and some of the colors were amazing and some were kind of dusty. Specifically in the newer palette. So I got two eyeshadow palettes and a few lashes. The first one, which is something I've been wanting, but I just have not got around to ordering it. So when I saw that they came out with three more, I wanna say three or four more, I was like, yes, I'm going to make an order now. The first one was this Candylicious palette, which reminds me of Runts. I'm pretty sure they're called Runts, the candy, the nasty banana candy. <laughs> and this one's nice, it doesn't smell like anything. I heard some of them were supposed to smell like stuff. The other one that I have does smell or have a scent not smell it doesn't smell bad but here it is like i said doesn't smell like anything it's pretty so i had used this one on this eye which is the candylicious then i used the sour blast eyeshadow on this side and this one this one does smell like candy this is supposed to be like those sour bright um gummy worms and this was the one that i found to be more dusty than the first eyeshadow palette so i'm going to first go in with the shade gummy i used it yesterday and i'm going to try to use it again today like i said yesterday it was a little dusty but this is in the sour blast palette and like i said yesterday i set my eyes today i'm not setting my eyes i'm kind of just packing it on see now i'm getting better color payoff than i was yesterday yeah that's way better okay that's definitely much better next i'm going to go in with this sweetheart color which is like a light blue and i'm kind of dragging it into the pink so it has a little purple in the middle okay this is working way better today without setting my base so don't set your base oh my gosh i forgot i was supposed to be talking about my experience okay so they had this insane 60 percent off black friday sale and i was like yes because that's been meaning to buy from them anyway and they coming out with new stuff so i'll just order right so i did finally you know convince my husband <laughs> when i needed to make this order and so i did but then in that it took forever to um it took forever for that order to sh actually ship i want to say i ordered like on the 28th or the 29th and my order didn't get here until christmas eve so I ordered 28th, 29th of November. Remember, it was a Thanksgiving, you know, Black Friday sale. And it didn't get here until Christmas Eve. Granted, I know they had a crazy sale with beautiful products on sale. And they had new eyelashes coming out and everything. Oh, yeah, so I didn't mention. So after that first order, a couple days after, after the Black Friday chaos, um, they still had their Black Friday sale, but it was a few days after. Um, I ordered some lashes because they had revealed the lashes so i want to say i made my order on friday and then monday or tuesday i made another i think it was tuesday i made another order and i ordered three pairs of lashes now um like i said so my i was contacting them and no response but then i see a bunch of other people commenting um you know i haven't got a response either blah, 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 and all of that so people aren't getting responses and people are asking you know like where's my order blah 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 and I'm like, dang, like, I just wanted it in time for Christmas, you know? But now I just want to know if it's coming, period. And then the thing is, I know they're a new company. So if they got overwhelmed, they didn't know that they were going to make these many sales. All of that, I get. But say something. They literally didn't post anything. So it's almost New Year's. Today is, I think, the 28th or 29th of Christmas. They literally just post today. <laughs> Today's the 28th. And I said of Christmas, I mean December. Today is the 28th of December when I am recording. And they just posted last night. Oh, sorry for the delay, blah, blah, blah. Don't you think you should have done that a month ago? Well, okay, the purple isn't as intense as I'd like it. So I'm going to go into this rainbow color. That's It's purple, but it's called rainbow. 
and I'm gonna get that more. Um, so yeah, so finally, um, oh, let me backtrack a little. So before my order even shipped, I had messaged them on Instagram, but I had commented on, I had commented and then I had messaged them, but I felt like it wasn't until I was, I said, you know, I have a channel and I want to review this on my channel and I let them know how much like Latino owned brands are important to me and, and promoting that stuff and, you know, bringing attention to these brands is important to me because it is. But I felt like as soon as I said I have a YouTube channel, that's when they responded and, and took me serious. A friend of mine who didn't mention that she has a YouTube channel and she has way more followers than me never got a response. Never, because um, she commented, but she didn't inbox them. Like she didn't go to the extent that I did, but she commented and they never responded to her. She still hasn't got her order till this day. She ordered, I want to say a day or so after me, if that. And at this point, it's like, come on, you know what I'm saying? We expect for you to have a high um, volume and everything, but say something be like, oh, you know, we didn't anticipate this. Sorry, it's going to take a little longer. Let people know. Don't. And then they were deleting comments and that I was, I thought was kind of shady. Don't, um, just not say anything, you know, they deleted a bunch of people's comments, people who are complaining, like, where's my order, blah, blah, blah. And were saying, oh, we DM'd you, we DM'd you, we DM'd you. That's terrible customer service. Don't do that. Leave their comments there. It is what it is. Make an entire new post apologizing, saying, you know, like I said, we didn't anticipate this. Um, bear with us. Stuff will be coming out soon. But instead, they were like, yeah, orders are shipping, it's happening, blah, blah, blah. But then once all those plates started flowing in, they were ghost. Nothing on their stories. They didn't post anything. And it just looked so shady. Anyway, they're new, so they're still trying to figure themselves out, and I get that, but come on. So eventually... You know, I get my stuff, whatever, whatever. And she, she was very nice to me in my inbox, by the way. It was like, oh, it's sent. And if it's not there by um, the 24th of December, then we'll process a refund. And I'm like, no, like... I love color. I love candy. Like this, like this stuff is um, and I'll insert screenshots sporadically. You know, I'm not the best editor, but I'll try to insert what I can. But I'm like, no, like I don't want a refund. Like I want to review this stuff on my channel. And more than anything, it's a Puerto Rican owned brand. Like why wouldn't I want to um promote you on my channel? You know, like as a Puerto Rican. Anyway, so all that was just kind of annoying. But this is pretty. Yeah, so, okay, so I finally got my stuff on the 24th, um, did a little unboxing with my daughter, which you will see before this. I'll, I'll put that in the video before this. I'm missing a pair of lashes, and then I have these other random lashes that I wouldn't even pick out for myself in there. So I contacted them, and I was like, you know, and I told her what happened or whatever. Oh, I ordered, I was trying to get to free shipping. So I ordered this random little bombshell pin that didn't come in my order. And I ordered these other latches. I forgot what they were called. But I'll put the ones I ordered in the ones that they sent me here. So you can see the difference. But the ones that they sent me are called piña. These are piña. Now, they don't look the worst. They do look intense. I'm not big on an intense lash. Let's see. It's my first time taking them out of the package. Okay, so they're not the worst, but I, definitely not what I ordered, or at least not what I thought that I ordered. So moving on to the next part. The one that I ordered were part of like that, I'm not sure if it's like honey or, I think it's like a honeybee type collection, but it had like yellow flowers on it and everything was just like very yellow. And those were the ones that I ordered. Well, apparently, I don't know if they were out of stock or what, because they still stay for sale on the website. But they were definitely not called piña. So when I contacted them about this, they were like, oh, you know, whatever, whatever, sorry, whatever. I forgot, I'll put in the screenshots. Um, but she said, the lashes that you ordered, these are the same ones. So you're telling me that you're selling two of the same lashes on your website, and they both have separate names. So you're telling me that you took eyelashes that you already had, put them in a new box, gave them a new name, and acted like they were something new. That's what you did. That's what you just told me you did. So I was like, they don't look the same as the ones that I ordered, and they never responded to me. Um, so after that, I didn't get a response to them. I didn't message them. Christmas came and went. But then yesterday, I did a makeup look, and I tagged them in it. And I was like, oh, review coming soon. And I'll put that here. And I was like, oh, review coming soon. And I tagged them in it. And they responded was like, oh. Because I put like a side eye in my, in my 
Instagram story. I put like a little side eye in it. And they were like, did you love everything? They were processing you. So still no real response about these lashes that I didn't order. But they responded just to say, oh, like, did you love it? Like, what's this review going to be about? Because I haven't seen any negative reviews. But I know multiple people who have had issues with them. One of them being my friend Talia, which I know she's coming out with the video. And my new friend, her Instagram is Hello Kitty. I'll link those because she also has a YouTube channel too and she's making a video also. But you can't just brush this under the rug because people have opinions and people are going to speak up. People are going to say what they mean. They're not going to stay shut. You deleting comments just makes you look shady. Like nobody's, nobody cares if you delete the comments. People screenshot. Like I screenshot hard. I know other people. I'm not, I know I'm not the only one who screenshots. So I just thought that was kind of shady. I'm like, why are you deleting? Look at me talking and I can just can't multitask clearly. But I'm like, why are you deleting comments? Leave them there. It is what it is. Nobody's perfect, you know? That's the thing, like nobody's expecting you to be perfect. We know you're indie brand. We know you're a new brand. We know, we get it and it's okay, but speak up. Say we messed up, I apologize. Um, and also, if you're rebranding eyelashes, don't tell people that you're doing that. I mean, I don't think you should do that. If, if it's like that, then just leave the ones you have or tell people, hey, you know, repackage, blah, 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 but repackage. Don't just act like it's a new eyelash. And then when I complain, you tell me that it's not a new eyelash because that just looks shady. If it were like that, I would have told you a different one that I wanted because there were a couple more that I wanted. I just didn't buy. One that I really regret not buying was these lashes. They were named Paige. Those were really pretty. But if you told me, hey, we ran out of this, can we change it out for something else? I would have said, yeah, Paige. But no, you sent me piña and I don't know, I'll try them out. Cause I did try out a pair already. They're called Tutti Frutti. And I got these because my nickname when I was little was Tutti, fun fact. But my cousin's grandmother always, when she saw me would say Tutti Frutti, Tutti Frutti. <laughs> so I was like, oh, these are kind of cute. And it reminded me of my cousin's grandmother. So I ordered them. And then when I got them, I was like, mm, I was kind of scared. But this band is so flexible and easy to work with. And you got a lot going on there. Anyway, you'll see that in the makeup look that I do. Because I use these in that. But I was actually pleasantly surprised with those lashes. And now I'm actually more pleasantly surprised with the eyeshadows. Surprisingly. Because at first I was like, what's happening here? So yeah. I think my biggest takeaway is uh, be real about everything. You're not perfect. Nobody ever expects you to be perfect. And in a time like this when the makeup community is not only so divided, but so quick to like beat up on each other, you want to try to be as real as you can about everything. Because if you don't, people are going to take you out. And... I want you to be great. I want you to succeed. That's coming from not only a Latina, a Puerto Rican. So just know that I want you to be great. But we can't be having any of this shady stuff. It's about to be 2019. We can't have this. Be great in 2019. Don't do this stuff no more. So I'm going to cut this crease really quick. Now what color do I put in there? I haven't used anything in the blueberry palette. There's really so much to play with here and I love it. Oh my gosh, I just noticed this color is called cavity. Oh my gosh, I tried to use this bomb bomb color a couple days ago. It was so dusty, it didn't work. I was sad, actually. I think I'm gonna go in with this yellow bananas color. So in other news, Paul is going to see B2K. I didn't like that, but I'm trying to go see B2K. And I know my best friend is. This yellow is not giving me what I want from it. And I don't know if it's because I used my Shape Tape Concealer and that dried down some. Okay, I have an idea. I'm just gonna cut the other side and I have an idea. That's why I cut my cream. <laughs> I'm gonna try to quickly pack the yellow on that. I know a lot of people do one eye at a time. I don't, I can't. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take this green lollipop color and I'm gonna put it on the outside here by the blue. So I'm just back and forth with the yellow and green just ombreing this out. Because I will definitely say do not set your base when using these eyeshadows. It's a little bit of fallout. I had a lot more fallout yesterday. It's amazing what cleaning up a line can do. <laughs> So now I'm actually gonna go into this Candy Licious palette that I thought I was gonna use more and take blueberry and do under my eye. So I'm gonna take this color Frosty and this color Kisses and swatch them side by side real quick. I definitely can say that I like the formula and the Candy Licious better. I don't know what they changed, but this formula is better. So they're very similar. This one's more silver. This one's more icy, which makes sense because it's called Frosty. So this one must have just more sprinkles. Just more <laughs> sprinkle glitter in it. Then I'm going to take Frosty and put it in the inner corner. I'm going to take this Kat Von D tattoo liner and just give myself a wink. Of course. Forgot to put some black in my waterline. All right, after I caked on that mascara, I'm going to put on these lashes. Tutti Frutti lashes again. 
They're just easier. They're already cut up. But this even looks good without lashes. Alexa, do you understand Spanish? What? No. I don't know what the heck this is. Alexa, play old school bachata. Alexa, play old school bachata. Alexa, play bachata. Alexa finally knows what bachata is. And of course she plays some old aventura. <laughs> I'm gonna put the rest of my face on and come back. So that's it for this look. I hope you like it. I did. It's probably like the most intricate thing I've done in a while. And I used this the most Desi X Katie Dosa Colors gloss. And I have to say, Dosa Colors probably has the best glosses. So I'm gonna go into the swatches part of this video. <laughs> I like this formula better. I like these colors better. And I like that it smells, but it's not like an overwhelming smell. It's almost like, it doesn't smell like a ColourPop lipstick, but you know when you get like a ColourPop lipstick, it almost smells kind of like caramelly or a little coffee, but it's just very light. And I like that. They're just a little dusty. Definitely not the same formula as these. And I don't know if it was rushed, because they released so many palettes at once. Like this one came out by itself. And then this one came out with like three, two or three other ones, and then a crap load of eyelashes. So the eyelashes I got are Tutti Frutti that I'm wearing now, Piña, which I didn't order, but, and then Frutti. <laughs> so all in all, no, I did not have the best experience with them. I have color everywhere. <laughs> I did not have the best experience, but I, they are a new company, and color really sucks me in. So I guess we'll see what we see from them in the future, and I'm sure this was definitely a learning experience for them. But in the future, be honest. We know you're behind. Even big companies, it happens to. So just be honest about it and, you know, tell people. And don't switch up eyelashes if you through package. Doesn't say that. Assuming they are actually the same, which I don't think they are. But that's my opinion. I'm gonna link my two friends' channels down below. If you had a different experience or even a similar experience, please share that down below. But until next time, this is it for me until January. So have a great day, have a great holiday, happy 2019, happy new year, and God bless.